yes, I'm from Brazil. I am, I am. I take the Buddhism and the Christianity at the both level in my heart. They live in both contented and uh, very, very peacefully. I would say they are the same. My feeling, my heart, they hit as the same. Explain that. Both talk about live your life, be mindful, be, uh, be helpful. Try to transform this world in a better place. So, what will be the meaning when you get to the end of your life? If you look backwards and you say, what did I do? Not only to myself, but to other people. And I think when you find that balance that, oh, I did something to make this world a better place. And because of me, regardless if it was a small or big thing, the world got better. And I also had the chance to live good things. I think your life was worthwhile. And both, uh, I found and both in Buddhism and the Christianity, the same teaching. I mean, this is the very concept. Okay. What's it? Yeah, compassion. Uh, compassion is a great thing. I mean, the compassion in all different levels. I mean, the compassion uh, to the people that you like and especially compassion for people who you don't like. And this is the worst. I, I don't know how to do that yet, but I try. I try, but it's very difficult. Some try to control anger, uh, great feelings that you have to, towards someone that did something that you didn't like in the past. I mean, praying and meditation, and regardless to Buddhism, uh, I, I like to read and repeat uh, as every time I can uh, the eighth verses of transforming the mind from the Dalai Lama. I have this book and I really truly memorize the, the eight verses and they are really, really, really helpful. There is one that says, and this is the number six, uh, if someone in whom I have placed great hopes mistreats me in, in a very hurtful way, may I still regard him as my precious teacher. Mm. I really like that verse, I mean, because that's the thing, I mean, we must try to extract some learning, some personal development, even from someone who hurt you. Every... I don't know exactly how to do that, but I've tried to keep that. I would, I would love to be that way, but I can be. Sometimes they control yourself. Sometimes, I mean, I totally understand that super developed people are that way. But to me, Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes you just don't like someone and it's very hard to transform that disliking into liking and vice versa. So, I mean, that's, I truly understand myself like a, a being that is in development. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was in Brazil in a very awkward way. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, I was at home and I found this book at home, uh, The Third Vision from Lobson Hampa. It's a book that was a bestseller in the 70s. It tells the story of a, a, a Buddhist uh, young, youngling uh, in Tibet and his adventures towards the world, and I got very, very interested about that. It turns out that that interest never faded away, never faded away, and then uh, as I was trying to develop my own, uh, lack of the bad word, spirituality, I always kept both in different levels, in different times of my life, the Buddhism and the Christianity. Uh, until the point in 2011, I had a very personal, uh, difficult situation. And then I dig into, with a greater degree, into the Buddhism and the meditation and reciting the eight verses of transforming the mind. They were really, really, really helpful to help me get out of that situation. Uh, I have a friend uh, who I met in Brazil. Uh, I know her from, let's say, almost 30 years now. Uh, and uh, her mother is, happens to be Zhao Zan. And I was, uh, I was, uh, I, I had, I used to go to the temple in Sao Paulo uh, when I had also always the chance to talk to her after the, the ceremony and so on. And this is the funny thing. Uh, in 2013, I decided to to move to St. Louis, there was a, a professional opportunity and it happened that I could make that so through my company, uh, the company I work for. And then I, was, I went one day to the temple 
and I was talking 2008, 2000, and uh, this probably is going to be the, one of the last times I will come here, visit you, uh, because I will be moving to the United States. And she replied to me, oh, Fabio, that's such a coincidence. I also be moving to the United States. That's interesting. Oh, that's nice. Maybe someday we can meet there. Where are you going, Zadzan? I'm going to St. Louis. Oh, what are the chances? What are the chances of that thing happen? And then I came here um, first time in 2000, and uh, very, uh, it was January 2014. And I usually come here at least, I try to come here at least once a month. I love coming, I love coming here. There are, there are translation differences, but that's the thing. I try to capture with the heart, not, not always with the mind. I think it's important to get, to me, this is a personal approach for the thing, I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but, and this is why I think I can live with both the Christianity and the Buddhism in myself. Because, and how do they hit on the heart? Because I believe that at the end of the day, nobody, nobody ha here in this world, living today, has the answer. We think we do, we try to find the answer, but we don't. So we need to read, but we need to meditate, we need to think, we need to feel what that teaching, what that uh, word means, and how that thing hits your heart. So, if it generates conflict, if it generates bad feelings, probably it's not a good thing. But if it generates good thing, maybe the translation is not that important, because that's the issue about many religions in the world, is the literal interpretation of texts and not the understanding of the meaning of those sacred texts, regardless if you are Christian, Jewish, uh, Islam, uh, Buddhist, uh, India, whatever, you name it, you need to feel what the heart, because you can find good people and bad people towards any type of religion and culture. Yes, absolutely, this place, I love this place. I mean, uh, one of the greatest things here uh, about the Buddhism in general is that they do not push anything towards you. And this is great. You create your own path. You, you decide how far and how fast you wanna go. And this is important. So that's why I feel very comfortable coming here all the time. Oh, I feel at home, really, really, really I, I feel at home. The Maba is a very open place. I really have the feeling that anyone is welcome here. It's probably the way that Buddhism is. Buddhism is welcome. It's a welcoming thing. I mean, it's not something restricted, really, really restricted only to initiated people or no, I mean, everybody, I always felt Buddhism. I had experience with Buddhism in, in Brazil, in Nepal, uh, even in Canada, and I always felt very welcome on the, the places that I have been visiting. Like I, in Nepal, I've been visiting a monastery uh, in, in Temboche, it's a 4,000 meters above sea level, and you're truly welcome there. Nobody judges you. No. We are, definitely we are. The world is becoming very, very dangerous place. It's very sad. It is. It is very sad, but it's true. I think we are f on the edge to face a massive, massive bad thing uh, coming to the world in the next couple of years. I'm very afraid of that. Don't think that your mind has all the answers. Don't look through your mind. Look through your heart. Open your heart to other things. Open your heart to listen, to learn. Meditate, think about, go after things. And don't think that you are going to find the answer in any religion, but you're going to find the answer inside yourself. Meditation to me is one of my personal big cha biggest challenges. I am super agitated, uh, extremely, uh, have super uh, enormous dif difficult to achieve higher degrees of concentration. But every time, Still, every time that I can meditate, even for 15 minutes or 10 minutes or so, I feel the difference. Especially trying to handling the breath, 
the in and out that today we had in our session a, a, a sutra about the a mantra about the the breathing and in and out so i'd like to to have more discipline to do more but i can tell you every time i do that i feel much better than i was before doing that's a good message yeah. thank you